Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here. Gonna bring you another fly tying video today. Today we're gonna tie an olive pheasant tail, and we're gonna tie it on the on a jig hook. Um, get, for that check nymph style fishing, gonna get you down real quick using tungsten beads. What we're gonna use for a hook, we're gonna use a 4640 specialty hook from Daiichi. Uh, this one's a size 16. For the bead, I'm using tungsten beads slotted, so it goes on your hook. And uh, here's your, your sizes. It's a one eighth. It's a little big, but the actually the hook goes through the eye here. If you use the one eighth inch, and it doesn't actually look too bad of a size on there. Plus, it's tungsten. It's going to shoot it right to the bottom, which is your goal when you're check nymphing. Um, when we put the hook on here, we're going to put the hook through the small end. You'll see there's a slot on the side of it. You're going to put it through the small end, the hole and the slot will be on the back side there. You can see the slot there. That allows it to go over the bend of the hook. So we're going to get started tying this. And uh, just going to put it in our vise. And I'm using, the thread I'm using for this is uh, Ultra Denier um, 70. It's Wood Duck Keller. You can use whatever Keller because you're really going to have it hidden pretty well here. I'm just going to start wrap some put some wraps on there, get my thread started on there. I'm going to pull this back out of the way for a second. I'm going to put just a couple wraps, just about five or six wraps of lead. Uh, let me move that back just a hair more. Okay, the big purpose for this lead one to get it down because we're check nymphing you want it to shoot straight to the bottom for you but another big reason for this lead is it's going to hold that bead up there in place so it's not rattling around on you when you're trying to tie that uh, just a nice way of holding it and getting a little bit of extra weight and it's actually going to build up a little bit of body at the end for us with our pheasant tail just going to cover this up with thread then we're going to come back to the back here we're going to put a tail on it for the tail, you could use the pheasant tail if you want to. Uh, I'm going to use Cock Daily On from Whiting. Uh, medium Pardo is the color I'm using. Uh, really, really nice. Here's one of the feathers right here. You can see the barring in it and stuff. It just gives you a really, really nice looking tail. We're going to take about 10 fibers off of this. Just strip about 10 fibers down. Keep them all even at the ends. Just gonna bunch them all up there, keep them even at the ends, and make a nice little tail. You don't want it, you don't want it any longer than the body. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit big because these are actually pretty thin fibers, so making a, a little bit longer isn't gonna hurt that much. Um, I'm gonna hold it up just to make sure it stays on the top. Oh, there we go, going a little too far there. You want it to go straight off the back of the tail, just like that. Then we're going to wrap these fibers down, trim them off. Next thing I'm going to use, I'm tying this in an olive. So what I'm going to use is uh, some chartreuse brassy ultra wire. And I just like, you know, my videos. I always like tying things bright, so this is no different. Just going to put some ultra wire on. We're going to roll it on top there. Get it wrapped down, wrap it down back to the bend there where you stopped your tail. Okay. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a piece of pheasant tail. For this one, I'm using a Highland Green pheasant tail. I just like the color of this. I like olives. There's a lot of olive stuff in the streams around my area, so I tie a lot with olives. A lot with green colors, I should say. Not so much olives, but and we're gonna take about oh, I don't know six or seven fibers off of there at least. I want to have a little bit of body to it, about eight there probably. And uh, I'm gonna line up all the ends there so they're all the same length. And we're gonna turn them around backwards because I'm not using this for the tail. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trim the ends off here just a hair, get them all lined up. 
because I'm not using the tips for the tail on this, I use the medium part dough cocktail on. We're going to tie it in backwards like this. We're going to put the tips towards the bead, wrap them down here, and then wrap back here to the bend, and come on back up. And then we're just going to wrap this around the hook. And as you wrap this, we're going to wrap towards the head, and we're going to gradually get bigger, building a nice tapered body. And sometimes you have to, as you get shorter on your fibers, it, it helps to, I put my finger on top of the hook, pinch it on the bottom, and bring it around, and that's how I keep it going with these pheasant tails. And then uh, I, I wrap it the whole way up to the bead here. And then we're going to just tie this off, get it good and tight here. And then we're going to trim them off. Okay, now we're going to come in with our ribbing. You can uh, you can just wrap this forward on here and space it out nice and evenly, like always. I'm trying to make it appealing to you more so than the fish, but um, it's just nice to tie things evenly gives you a nice look when you're finished and then just make a couple wraps there make four or five wraps and then we're just going to helicopter this off keeping the thread tight and that will just pop right off of there okay now we need to put our collar on the fly for the collar what I'm going to do I want to give it make it a little bit bushy up there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dubbing loop tool and I'm going to make a dubbing loop. You see me do this a lot of times in my other videos. I don't need to make a really big loop because we're not going to put a whole lot on here. So my loop is only, oh, I don't know, two, three inches long here. You can, you can see how long it is. Just going to put a touch of wax on it. On my thread here just to, just to get the dubbing to stick. For the dubbing... I'm using Nature Spirit. I really like this stub stuff. It's an emergence dubbing in olive. It's the 100% trilobal antron. The stuff is really nice. It gives a little bit of flash, kind of like a, an ice dubbing, but it's a lot thinner material. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. You see my dubbing loop here. I'm going to place it in between the two lines. I'm not going to dub it onto one of the lines. I'm just going to trap it in between the two and then uh, once I put it in between the two I'm just going to take and spin it and just get it spun out there nice and that will release the fibers you can see the fibers that are standing out there now okay we're just going to wrap this around to make a nice collar here don't need there we go that's a that's probably about enough right there so we're just going to come in and we're going to tie this off just make three or four wraps around there just enough to hold it down tight and then I'm going to cut my tag off here okay now I'm going to just pull all this back out of the way and then we're going to come in and we're going to whip finish right behind the bead here this is a very very simple tie. You can whip a whole bunch of these out and um, these are a really killer fly too. Um, I fished this on one of my local native streams last year and uh, boy we just hammered hammered the fish on this and you can tie it smaller if you want. Smaller the better on those little tiny native streams like we were fishing. But um, that's just a simple way to get a, a nice fuzzy color like that with that dubbing loop. If you would if you would have taken and, and just dubbed it onto the string, it wouldn't have stood out as nice as that and as evenly as that. So just a simple way to make a nice simple fly there. I um, hope you enjoyed it. All the material you see on here, you can find at our shop at Holsinger's Fly Shop. So give us a look here on the, on the internet at holsingersflyshop.com. Uh, like us on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.